Hello. Hi. Welcome in. Hello there. How's it going? Hello, everyone. Ooh. 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 It's me. I'm back. Hello, Tall. Hello, Jealous. Um, and hello, Virtual Bread. Welcome in. How's it going? How is your Monday treating you? Um, Tall, I have to say that the, I hadn't heard a sound from my PC in quite some time and the, the quack scared the shit out of me. Um, so thank you for that. <laughs> That was that was a nice a nice way to wake me up on this very dismal Monday afternoon. Um, you're most welcome. Thank you. Um, I would have been on a little bit sooner, but I've been I've been playing my Switch. I've got a Switch. Nicole gave me her old Switch, so I've been playing a bit of that. And I was playing some Splatoon two. She got me Splatoon two for Christmas been playing loads of that this morning and that is extremely fun don't, don't head shake at me it's very fun super fun um i was having a great time and i also i also as you'd expect bought wingspan on switch um and i played a little bit of that as well um i've got tetris installed i'm ready to to steal dangerous content not really um but I would like to play some of that. Because um, it does look like good fun. But yeah, Splatoon. Splatoon's the way. Splatoon's the way forward. It's great fun. Um, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like there's something wrong with my setup. Am I a bit... No? No, I'm wondering if I'm a little bit sort of in the wrong, in the wrong focus. Um, my hair looks a bit funny as well. It looks like it's, it's probably angling the wrong way. But I can't, oh no, oh no, oh yeah, there's there's definitely something wrong there, there's definitely something going on wrong there, um, but anyway, enough about that, enough about all that, he says as he continues to try and adjust it. It's, I'm, I'm all out of whack, I'm out of whack at the minute, that's what I'll say. Um, how is everyone, how's everyone doing? Um... No, oh, I put my headphones on and the, the the track had changed, so suddenly the music disappeared for me, and that was was a little bit strange. Um, I'm gonna play some Gloomwood today. Gloomwood is a game coming out. I was talking about it yesterday. It's a game coming out in the uh, in the sort of next few. Uh, I don't know really. There's no release date, um, but it's coming out soon. And. It's got a demo. Oh, jeez. It's got a demo. So I'm going to play a bit of that. Um, it's kind of like Thief inspired. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then we're going to carry on with the... Uh, with We're going to do the Broken Triad. Um, which is the follow-up to the mission we were playing yesterday. It's the sequel. Um, Tall, which I know you've played. Um, hopefully it doesn't take as long as the one yesterday did. Um, as that that took a very long time, um, but you never know, you never know. Done your food shop, played some DVD, had some lunch, good stuff. We need to do a food shop, but we've opted not to. We're gonna gonna go for a walk tomorrow, and then we're gonna uh, then we're gonna do a food shop on the way back. I like to I like to sort of include a food shop amongst other stuff. I don't like to I don't like to dedicate a full morning to it, you know. Um, really in for a thiefy treat today. Are you, are you a fan of a fan of uh, of Broken Triad Virtual Bread, or or are you just excited about the gloom mud? Um, but either way, you're absolutely right. You know, it's 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 thief time. It's thief time, baby. That's oh oh. I think I was saying this to Danger the other day. I don't think I don't think. I've ever been able to successfully say baby without it sounding a bit horrible. Um, excited that it will be another very long mission. <laughs> I'm glad one of us is. <laughs> I've made a coffee and I think I've made it extremely strong. Let's, let's have a go. Yeah, that's going to blow my socks off a little bit. Hello, Broken Arts. Welcome in. I am actually looking forward to it, to be honest. You almost completed Broken Triad last night. 
got about three hours gameplay on it. Nice. I think, um, I think in terms of like one singular mission, um, Duncan Malveen is probably the one where I've spent most time. I think I've got about seven to eight hours played on Duncan Malveen, uh, violent end of Duncan Malveen. Um, and that was just one playthrough. That was one singular playthrough. Um, and you can play it multiple times and get different different endings and whatnot, can't you? Uh, but that one yesterday, yeah, that that came to about five or six hours, uh, which was which was a bit shocking. Um, but it was all right. It was all right. I, d I did enjoy the mission. Um, I think I was just suffering from being really hungry in the build up to it. Um, but that's not a problem this time. I've had a bit more food today. Have you tried Into the Odd? Um, I've not actually. I've not. I don't think I've come across that. Let's have a look. Into the Odd. Uh, let me, uh, let me put this on screen. Put this on screen for y'all. Into the Odd. is a devious and at times challenging mission. That sounds... Like the sort of thing that, that that kills me off. It's got 9.20 on it. Um, Into the Odd is very hard. Honestly, hungry. couldn't finish it. Ooh. Look at him. Adam, welcome in. How's it going? Oh, that looks very pretty there, doesn't it? That's some real nice... Uh... That little man. Not using Google Dark Mode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know what? That's a good shout, though, isn't it? I probably should. I didn't even know Google had a Dark Mode. What? In settings or something. I didn't even know this existed. What a boomer. Thank you, Virtual Brett. Thank you. Welcome in, Hannah. How is everyone doing? Yeah, this looks nice. I think, do you know what? I might play this, but I might play it off stream if it's a tough one. Do you know what? I don't mind playing a tough mission on stream. But I do get a bit self-conscious sometimes if I'm if I'm just running about. But that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? That's some real nice, unique-looking design. It's relatively new, only a few weeks old. Ah, that also worries me because that means there's probably not a lot of guides and stuff online, <laughs> which is uh, which is always a worry when you're playing a fan mission. If you're playing a fan mission that's like not very popular, like it only has a few downloads, you worry that like. If you get stuck, you, 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 that's it. That's it. Nicole, thank you for the luck. I hope your nap goes very nicely. <sighs> that coffee's nice, actually. I do like a nice, strong, instant coffee. I mostly drink instant. And I drink a lot of coffee. And, I, you know, I've worked as a barista, so I used to drink, like, espresso coffee constantly. And even when I switched, when I, when I stopped working and I just started drinking basically only instant coffee. It's never been like, I'm, I'm not, I like to think that I'm not like a coffee snob or anything. I'll drink literally any kind of coffee. I think Brad Damon was saying something similar not too long ago. And just getting some Dow Egbert's big hefty scoop of it. No milk or sugar, just, just nice hefty black Dow Egbert's. It's comforting. It's really comforting. If you like coffee. Um, Schlock. I feel like we've played something by Schlock. Um, oh, Schlock. Schlock's just a, an editor, I think. I don't think they're actually a creator. Prefer any form of gold blend, not picky. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind a gold blend. So I think it's, I'm guessing it's... Oh, is this part of the 20th anniversary contact? Do you know what? I might actually have this installed in that case. Let me have a look. Have a quick look. I thought I had all the 20th anniversary ones installed. Into the odd. There it is. Um... <laughs> it's fine, Hannah, I understand. I do like a, a coffee pod. Um I, I wanna get a um I wanna get a French press. I've heard French presses are the uh, are the big thing. That's what you need 
for uh, if you if you're not not doing lots of coffee and you don't want to spend lots of money. So I'm thinking about getting one of those. If anyone's got any experience with a French press, let me know. Let me know if it's a big big step up. But yes, I do have into the odd. So <laughs> I was going to say, assuming um, ominous bequest is done, let's let's get that set completed. Um, assuming ominous. Assuming Broken Triad, sorry, doesn't take as uh, all stream, which it probably will. Um, we could we could try into the odd, maybe, but probably won't. No, instant copy is just freeze dried coffee. Make normal bean coffee and then freeze dry. Right, so it's not it's not really that much different then, is it? I get used to drinking instant, to be honest, because whenever I'm working in the office, they have like. A coffee grinder um I have a coffee grinder and you know it's like a machine you press it and it grinds it fresh and then it pours it out that's horrible that's horrible they, they, they have some proper rancid beans um and I've said to them multiple times please get different beans and they never do um so I just got used to drinking the instant there lots of experience with the French press I worked for the French Sunday Echo for four years. Very good. Very, very good, Adam. Um, or a cafetiere, yes. I've always liked the idea of the um, the sort of coffee on the pot, the percolator coffee. Um, particularly when it's like the big sort of glass, glass bowl. Um, In fact, no, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not a percolator, is it? Is it? I guess you just call it a coffee pot, don't you? Coffee pot. Like that. They sort of look horrible when you see them all, like, with all the condensation and everything. But I don't know, there's something very satisfying about, like, pouring a coffee out of one of those, isn't there? There's a fish in the percolator. But like, when I worked in a, um, I used to work at a golf club and we had one of these. And I don't know, there was just something real, real satisfying about doing the coffee in that. And, and pouring it out and it just being instant goodness. I was always a real big fan of that. But I don't know what you, what you refer to that. Which makes me think of every cop sitcom ever made exactly yes um just just um or like going into the diner having a cup of joe come on pour me a cup of joe come on um i feel like i'm gonna get offensive if i keep doing that did you also play golf i've never played golf never um i just worked in the uh in the sort of kitchen there um sort of serving drinks and pot washing um and i remember the day i quit i hated that job really hated it. i didn't like the guy i worked for um the chef there because the chef hired me and one day the chef got sacked um and i found out i sort of um i went into work and uh the guy who ran the sort of golf club hiring shop Walked out, he was like, oh, you won't be working today. I said, why? He goes, well, chef's been sacked. I was like, right. It's like, yeah, do you want to come in like one day this week? We'll have a chat and, uh, and you know, we'll see if we can get you doing some other work. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I went home, watched Seven Samurai, Saturday morning. It was like eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. In fact, no, it was like seven or eight o'clock. Yeah, on Saturday morning. Watched Seven Samurai. That, that kept me going through to dinner because it's a through to lunch because it's a long film um, and then I never went back never went back because that place was shite um, and even even if even if I wasn't going to be working for the chef I didn't fancy it didn't fancy it like working I was in sixth form and it was just every Saturday and Sunday morning through to late afternoon that's not really what you want to be doing as a sixth former I mean maybe it is maybe it, maybe I'm just I mean, I know I am pretty spoiled, um, or I was, um, but it was it was just making me miserable, really miserable. Doing French press right now, 
done every type except percolator. I'd love to try that. Broken hearts, you need to you need to you need to hit us with a tier list. A tier list of every type of coffee. I nearly spilled it. I nearly spilled it on my new t-shirt. I got a new t-shirt for uh, for Christmas. Um Stream sponsor uh, uh, rhinoceroses. Today's stream sponsor is these wonderful majestic beasts that you can see, but you might not always. So it's important to do whatever you can. I feel like that was too facetious for the for the subject matter. <laughs> ah. Mora, welcome in. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Yes, ri well, rhinos are actually my favourite animal. Um, and, and always have been. I love them. And I've got, I've got this little, little magazine next to me. Um, I think this is the one I, I sort of showed on stream the other day. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone. God. Um, I don't think I would be able to guess her total. Her total. <laughs> um, yes, I. So, I don't think. No, it's neither of those. But I do sponsor a rhino called Lanku. Um, and he's a he's a he's a great chap. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. There's lovely Lanku. He's a champ. He's a real champ. Um, but yeah, Mora, welcome in. Good to have you. How's it going? Um, is it a cat? <laughs> right. It's turning into a just chatting stream. Opening segment can only last so long before it turns into a just chatting stream. I think your favourite animal is a hyena. Hyenas are lovely. And they look so pretty. I think they've got a bad rep because of uh because of Lion King. But they're uh, they're lovely. I like hyenas. Um So we're gonna play we're gonna play today like I say, the first the demo for Gloomwood. Um, so I'm gonna let me let me turn off that music, um, and I'm very excited about this. It's gonna uh, for this for this thief inspired content. There we go. And it's picked it up straight away, which is always a good sign. As usual, please let me know if uh, the volume's out or anything like that. This features pre-alpha gameplay. Many improvements to the graphics system, performance and audio have been made since it was released. Stay tuned for upcoming early access. I can't move my mouse. I can't move the mouse. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I think actually I've got the uh, thief filter still on. Let me get that off. I must remember to do that more. Um, just check. Uh, let's just change some of the settings around, you know. I'll leave that medium. Probably be better for it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. Miss Demos, yeah, same. I was talking to um, a friend of the chat, Lelimer, last night about this. Um, how I wish I could go back in time and look at all of the like old demos that I used to play, so that I could find. Now that I'm older, I could find the games and play the full games, because I used to play so many demos for like PS One games, or PS Two games when I was growing up. I would love to have a go at them. 
the full games now. Hmm. What do you think? Should we go full moon difficulty? Um, things have progressed not for the better sometimes. Very true. Very true. Um, until the left image is not visible. Is there a left image there? Oh, there it is. Well, let's let's go for it. Do you ever get to this point in the coffee where you're like, right, I just need to get it finished now, so you sort of we go, it's done. Just wanna make sure it's uh performing alright. How close are total, I'm sorry, I've read your message and then I I just completely forgot about it um it's in my uh it's in my my cart would i consider streaming it no probably not it'd be it'd be something i'd play off stream probably does that look a little bit choppy to you or does that look okay total i thought you were a fan of the uh the hang on right, i thought you were a fan of the pga streams My armrest is very wonky. Yeah, does that look smooth? Please let me know if that looks smooth. It seems to look smooth. But I can't be sure. Looks good. Okay, cool. You love it? Well, I mean, maybe. It's It's more something um, I'd want to play like in my downtime, but I'd, I'd consider it. Doctor, apologies that I could not encounter you in person. Ah. For now, take this vial and find your way into the manor on the main street. I await your arrival. G. Oh. Um. What is going on with this? My, my, the arm on my chair has suddenly become really loose. Not too happy about that. Not too happy about that. There'll be, there'll be some words add. Uh, oh. Hold F to slowly open it. Just bought PG after much deliberation. Yeah, I'm, I'm very close. This looks great. Left shift to sneak. Very sneaky. Oh, it's got leaning. It's got leaning. Yes. Looks very thiefy. And I'm all for that. Sack. Who's this geezer? Ooh. Nice. Is the FOV fixed? Um, it should be. I, I set it to 100. How do you mean? What does it look like it's going? Does it look like it's changing?
Probably just use the thief, yeah. I've also been playing a lot of um a lot of Alan Wake rem I got Alan Wake remastered for Christmas um from my brother. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. Um so I've been getting back into that and I really like that game. I think it's a real fun little game. Like I always feel like I've got to sort of explain that. I don't think the game's amazing. I don't think it's like the best game ever. It's real fun. And it's got some real cool ideas. It looks nice. Hmm. I'm already lost. I can't believe it. Um... This is this is a great start. Maybe it's not down here. Maybe maybe I maybe I need to go back up there. I guess. Right. Oh, that's neat. So objects can be destroyed, Britain, with the left mouse. Dead. Hello, Dins. Welcome in. How's it going? And how are you getting on with the... Uh, is it Mafia you're playing? I, I saw you were going to um, play through the whole series. How are you getting on with that? Ah! A gun. Oh, look at that. That's neat. I like this. I like this a lot. Mafia Remaster really is beautifully done. Yeah, the first one they like nearly fully remade it, didn't they? Um, play Mafia 1, it's really good so far, the remaster feels nice, good. I only played a little bit of Mafia 1, I think I played mostly Mafia 2. But even that, I didn't get, didn't get too far with it. Um... This looks great, doesn't it? Bang. It's not for everyone because it's almost not about the gameplay. What is in like you you sort of enjoying it more for like the story and atmosphere kind of thing. 
Oh, shit. Kablam. Oh, I've just realized. I think that thing at the bottom right is like a, uh, it's like a light indicator. Reckon we can get a little stealth, stealth attack in. That's the atmosphere and story. Let's get it going on. Way. So it's a bit more sort of uh, yeah. The eyes. It, it remi it's reminding me of a, an old survival game that I got years and years ago called Sir You Are Being Hunted, um, where you played. Uh, You're basically like dumped in the middle of this kind of uh, British wasteland kind of thing, like sort of farmlands and stuff that were all deserted and you were being like, you would have to like find items and survive. Oh shit. While being sort of chased by, uh, ah. while being chased by like these, um, oh shit, we're dead, we're dead. Being chased by, uh, these like British robots that had like, um, they all had like uh, top hats and smoking pipes and whatnot. It was good though. It was a fun little game, that. There's another Thief style game. Yeah, so it's kind of Thief inspired. I think it's mostly the visuals that are sort of Thief inspired, to be honest. Obviously, there seems to be quite a bit of stealth involved. Um, but I think this is meant to be more like sort of survival horror. I feel about the save method. I, you know I liked I like my quick saves because I'm bad at games, but I feel like it's something that you just you just have to learn to play around it when you don't have quick saves, don't you? You just have to sort of play better. Um, but I don't know how to do that. I do like this sort of reloading system. It's very neat. So this is made by the um, the people that made uh, made Dusk. So it has so it's quite sort of similar in in the field to the, not field but I guess visuals. Hello, poor sod. Uh, can't wait for me to frob my way through this game. We're already straight back to the frobbing. I was thinking last night about a. Um, the potential of a frob emote. But then I thought, no, that's that's it's gonna be far too off putting for uh, for newcomers. Gonna think what are all these people going on about frobbing for? What does that mean? I don't wanna be around here. And frobbing is actually just the very innocent act of interacting with the environment. Right. Also made Ultra Kill and a Medieval, yes. I think they also made a game called Golden Light, which I have installed. Um, Charlton, no, no, no. It's, it's completely innocent. There's nothing to worry about when it comes to throbbing. Have a bit of that. That's an name, mate. Shit. 
I'm out of ammo. Right, well, I decided to aggro all the enemies there for some reason. Good morning to you too, Charlton. and how's it going? Welcome in. Where did I get that gun before? Was it in here? Yeah. Let's have a bit of that. Yes. Nice. Do you have an alternative one-word synonym for throbbing? Clicking, I guess? Captain, the men managed to confiscate one of the one of the seals required to negate the dark magics blocking Lady Sylvia's doors. We've reason to believe the foreigner is planning to take refuge within the Countess's high walls. The seal has been placed in the jailhouse evidence locker. As for the other seal, it continues to evade us. A local resident who once worked as a manor servant claims it was lost during the last flood and may have fallen to the tunnels beneath this district. As such, we have several men searching around the cistern entrance by the docks. Our eyes remain open. Nightwatcher Ramsey. Ooh. I'm guessing that should open those big doors. Big gates. Just woken up. Snowed all day yesterday, so everything's shut down. Nice. I mean... Have a bit of that! Obviously not nice. Very inconvenient for many. But, you know, kind of nice. Hello. So what's this? The jailhouse, right? So I think it mentioned getting something from the evidence locker. Since the phonograph to save the city of Gloomwood only gets more dangerous from here, right? Well, thanks for letting me know. Where was it I saved? Is it around here? Yeah, it was round here, wasn't it? It was up there. A staircase, yes. Thanks. I can't wait for this to come out. Beautiful, just far too cold for my liking. Yeah, I get that. See, I'm all I'm all prepared for. I bought a, a new jacket the other day. I bought gloves. I've got walking boots. I'm all ready for the weather to get hostile. But it never does round here. It it kind of just gets a bit cold and rains. This game does look mint. I'm so excited to play the full one. I've I've barely even played any of this demo, and I'm already just like, yes. All it needs is just a blackjack to uh, to get bonking. Shit, shit. So can you like, right, you can hide the bodies about a bit. Ah. How's it going, Lelimo? Welcome in. Stayed up with Lelimo until about four o'clock last night, trying to, uh, actually no, I don't know if I can say that, it might be TOS, I guess say anyway. Trying to get Metal Gear Solid 4 working, I'm not going to say on what platform. Um, and I couldn't get it working, so I'm going to try that again later. I've actually got Metal Gear Solid 4 in a drawer next to me. I was saying last night, I think it's finally gotten to a point where I can ad I can comfortably admit that the fourth Metal Gear Solid is probably my favourite one. And I don't have to feel any sort of shame or embarrassment about it. Uh, to 
does anyone actually ever do this in games, like lob bottles to cause distractions? I generally find it, in every game I've ever played, too unreliable to, uh, to get any real value out of. Like, would it not be more valuable to just get up behind this lad? Just give him a big prod in the butt. Shit. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. An old assassin's creed where you needed to be an assassin, it was handy. Which assassin's creed like you throw a bottle? I mean there were the one there was um revelations which had the bombs in it. You could sort of distract guards with. And they were handy trying to get all the achievements, admittedly. Um, how do I use them uh, them health potions then? What's what's button for that? Uh, mouse wheels. Well, that's weapons, isn't it? Inventory. There you go. Whoa. Nice. Look at that. So the... Let me do that somewhere where it's like... Oh shit, there's a guard over there. I think that guard is stuck behind the door right now. Um, I used to throw stones and stuff. Um, I remember you could, like, chuck coins on the ground and stuff, couldn't you? But yeah, when you go to use your inventory, look at that! That's mint. It's like a little backpack. I really like that. Oh. <laughs> that gun is uh, pretty busted. Hello, Steam. Welcome in. How's it going? The constables can't keep doing this. This is the third broken rifle this week. It's bad enough that we have to guard our own district. They claim they t they lack the manpower, but we've seen how the upper city estates are protected. No expense was spared for their equipment and fancy automated security devices. Now the only firepower we have access to are these shoddy leftover munitions they gave us. These rifles break and jam if you just look at them too hard. And many, as, many of us have resorted to using our wood-cutting axes just to refill in the gaps. Just to fill in the gap. Yeah, you get it. How are we supposed to stop the beast now? Do they want our district to become like the Sootworks? Yeah. I'm getting a bit lost. Like, kind of losing my sense of direction because of how dark the game is. Because I... Obviously, in Thief, the main difference is that the dark is kind of... At least it's still got the, you know, the whole toilets. Thank you, Tall. In Thief, you know, the dark is kind of a tool that you're using, and it kind of is in this to an extent, but just as well it's like... This is where we came from, I think. Just as well it's like... Makes it harder to see, obviously. And I think it's supposed to, because it said at the start, like, you're not going to be able to see a lot of things. Which is less of a thing in Thief, because I think you... You know, it's not really ever supposed to be so dark in Thief that you can't see anything, I don't think. It's a rat. Look at that. That looks great. Tomo, welcome in. Has a dark mod look. Oh, this looks better than dark mod though, doesn't it? Dark mod never looked this, this cool. 
Maybe it did. I've only played like three dark mob missions. But, uh... I need to keep looking for some good dark mod missions. Try and find uh Ah, we're back here, right, okay. You know, try and find some ones that are nice and unique. Someone was saying, um it might have been virtual bread, someone was saying that there's a lot of good horror missions for for the dark mod. So I'd quite like to try some of those. Right, so is that yeah, we, I think that's all we need in here. Just that that key for the uh, for the purple door. Let's go down to the docks. Black Grove Manor. I'm just going to make a quick note of that. I need a thing. What I need is a little... Um, I need some sort of... Uh, Devious. I do. I need some sort of uh, alert system where like, one of the mods can... Do you know like how Limmy has his, um, his things to talk about notes where the mods can like add stuff that add like topics and stuff that he wants to talk about i could do with a thing where like when someone recommends something exactly yeah add it to like a little list our station looks inaccessible at the moment where was the docks i feel like i've is there a map sadly there is no bunny hopping Oh, there's the docks. Maybe I should save first. Go back and save. Be very annoying to lose all that progress. Oh. But yeah, I'll have a look into that. Cause... I mean, I'm sure... Um... I'm sure the one Limit uses is probably available, but I don't know if that's necessarily what, what I want. But maybe maybe there's something out there. Oh, Steen, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look then. Because, yeah, you'd want it to be one that... Not necessarily one that is just on the screen, just one that, you know, I can... I can or, or if somebody typed exclamation mark list, it would pull up the suggested ones. Because people come out with some real good suggestions. Like, I think, um... Duncan Malvin was a suggestion from someone in chat. Um... Trying to think of which other ones were. Quite a few of them. I think virtual... Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Help. Um. Bollocks. Shit. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh dear. That all, uh... <laughs> that all, uh... That all got a bit out of hand real quick, didn't it? Alright, back to docks. But yeah, I think Virtual Bird said the other day, like, are oh, you... Or someone did, you always pick the, uh... The really good fan missions to play. I think it's literally because people just recommend all the best ones. And uh, and I make a little note each time, and then we play him. Hello, Gangroom. Welcome in. And Desco, how's it going? Thank you for the shout out, all. 
we go in here? No. Right, let's let's try and be a little bit more subtle here. So we can this looks like a ladder we can use. Ooh. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Got it in the end. Love the little girl. Ooh, you do. <laughs> this is great. I'm proper loving this. Mattress. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? And how are the pups? I assume it was the uh, a little outdoor stream, but how's it going? And welcome in. And hello, Josh. Here. Thank you very much for that for that raid mattress. Uh, heard the one about Nostromo in love, friendship, and in Twitchness. Yes. You know what they say about Nostromo. He, he finds a way, etc, etc. I was saying to, uh, to Lilima last night, I, I have an issue of where I'll be like, I'll go, oh, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch a stream from, uh, of like this game that I wouldn't normally watch or something like that. Just see what it's like, and then I get an audible advert, and I think, you know what, it's not bloody worth it, is it? Which I imagine is what people do when they see my stream. Oh, shit. Uh, did it work? It did work. Oh, shit! No! Right, there we go. Have we got bullets for this? Yeah, we've got two bullets for that. Uh, we've got nothing left for that. Oh, shit! I've blocked them removed for the streams you care about. But well, I've blocked them work on uh, Twitch, does it? Because it, it kind of like... The way it blends them into the... Uh, Maybe it works different on different browsers. Um, Thief needs a pistol. Pistol's good. Definitely does. Wonder if there are any Thief fan missions that have like guns and whatnot. I thought one did once, but it turned out it was just like a little a little crossbow. Um. The, the immortal Lord of Dreams. They're total couple goals. Um, there is an ad block that works. Um, no, no, don't worry about it, Tom. I hope. But thank you. I mean, if anyone else wants to see it, they can feel free. Um, it's not great, though, is it? One has a gun where you play a private detective, but can't remember the name. See, that sounds interesting. I like the ones where you... I like... We've said before, best best fan missions are like, or well not necessarily the best, but like great fan missions are like you sort of go into a house, do a robbery, off you go. But I do like the ones where it's where you're not a thief, you you know you you're taking on some other type of role. Very sneaky. Gonna get me banned. Bonkin step is it's, it's 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 certainly not the same. I wish I wish when you had it holstered like this, you could then whack someone over the head with it. I'll send an email to the developer and demand it be added to the final version. By the order of the constabulary, <laughs> all entries to the city sewers are to be closed and boarded off. 
Several city servants and officers report of beastly infestations plaguing the tunnels. Any persons found to be breaking quarantine will face legal ramifications and the constabulary will not expend brave officer lives to rescue them. The law will not be broken. I'm going in. I'll take charge. <laughs> We're trying to sneak through the sewers, you fool. Ooh. Ah. Feels like I'm playing the outer wilds. Can I use the la- yeah, I can. Oh, this is a bit... This is a bit tense. For fuck's sake! <laughs> I swear he says to the, uh, to the old man, like, I can't- I can't believe you do this! Hey, up. I think Outer Worlds was the first game I saw you playing. Yeah, it was it was one of the first games I streamed, I think. Um, I think the first game I streamed following my pro Valorant days um, was a hat in time, and then I think after that it was out of alt. Hmm. Oh, you too, Josh, yeah. It was, uh... Yeah, it was lovely. It was a lovely day. Um... Maybe I could... Don't shit! Hat in Time is great. It was very fun. I still haven't played the DLC for it. I kept saying I would. And then, oh, sh oh, fucking hell, alright. Not that it did you any good. This is like your dreams. This is like the immortal lord of dreams. Right. <laughs> do do. Can I can I just give him a big prod from the front? Do you reckon he'll No, no. 
Where's he gone? Oh. <laughs> oh, we're in this room now, I see. For anyone left in this dreaded situation, these levers control the pressure gates in the system. The levers as they run left most to right, control room, storage room, main canal slash pump room. If you are struggling to navigate to the corresponding gate, you can follow each of the pipes to their destination. Take care not to forget to fill the lantern, as the crow men have been quite aggressive lately. I've dismantled the lever to the pump room and shelved it in the storage room after the last attack. What the fuck is that sound? No, no, that's enough from me. Let's get it saved. Oh. The pump room. <laughs> feel like I'm trapped. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's just try and... Let's just try and get him. Listen. I'm not afraid of you. Actually, I, I, I could, could... Wait, what? No! It's not open. Not see state of that other lad. You think I can honestly bonk this thing? Oh my goodness, look at it. Looks like spy versus spy, doesn't it? Here we go. What we got now? That's that's got. I've played enough thief to know a, a secret doorway when I see one. Look at that! It is fucking thief and all. Fresh fish. Oh, what was that? What did I just get? Has he just, he's just chucked the bag on the shelf. I love that. All right, keys, was it? Oh, it was a lever handle. Uh, for the, uh, for the thing in the pump room. Plague Doctor meets Velociraptor, exactly. All right. What did the fresh fish get me? It certainly didn't get me any fresh fish. Shooter! Right, here we go. Do you know what? If one wants to cross my path, they will get shot. I'm saying it now. I'm taking no prisoners at this point. You know? Listen, gaze. Oh! 
I'll shoot it next time. I'll shoot it next time. It was large. Right. We fucking go. Here we go. In fact, I should have saved, shouldn't I? Oh, jeez. What have I done? Let's save. Let's save it. We're going to save. We're going to save. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Big save. Right. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm a bit of this! Wasn't really that tough, was he? Unfortunately, he did take a whole shotgun slug. I don't feel so bad now. I feel like I can take him now, you know. Oh bloody oh bloody hell. I feel devious. I do a little bit, but they're more. The How many bullets have I got in here? Two, by the looks of it. There's fucking loads of them down here. And I've only got so many bullets. Or slugs. What's up here? <laughs> Can't see anything. Right. Light on. I think this is just back where we started, isn't it? No? No. Ooh. Oh, fucking hell. I see. We know what we're facing now. You know, we know what we've got to deal with. Get them around here before I drop down. Oh, is the bitrate going down? Oh, ah, yeah. Bitrate's proper kicking it, isn't it? Is it doing okay now? It seems to be getting better. So, you can barely see anything in the game, and right now you can probably see even less than usual. Just, just, just take in the sounds, the lovely sounds. Right. I've gotten myself into what I, is, is comfortably a sticky situation, I would say. Oh, there's that thing we need. Give me that. Elevator. That's what we need. That's what we bloody need. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. No. No. So something to keep in mind there. Elevator makes big horrible noise. Doesn't the game look great though? That looks very fun. Alright, so we hopped up here, didn't we? We hopped up here. And then we died. I don't have much health. Do I have anything I can eat? No, I do not. We've, this is the one. This is the one. Take it a little bit slower this time. Don't want to rush this. Gangrene, I hope it goes well. Thanks for thanks for stopping in. Oh, back to this situation. What's through there, do you reckon? <gasps> oh my goodness. Right through her, through her, through her. Doesn't appear to be really anything up there. No. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. G right. So, plan is we call the elevator, then we leg it to that little room over there. It is a kin, but we are not playing Blight. Maybe we just gotta leg it straight into the elevator, you know. The, why did I save it again? The moment that elevator comes, we're just, we're just straight in there, you know. Do you reckon we can stab these things? dead he's dead start bonking your head off the wall I wish I could I wish I could blighted rush my way through all these guys 
Right, we know what to do now. We know what to do now. Oh no! Oh no! I just realized I have to wait for him to come over. Oh? Will he whack me? And then he called his mates over. There's another one of those new games that's designed to look old. Yeah, kind of. I've got this one's attention. Right. This time, this is the one. This is absolutely the one. Yes, like uh, like dusk. so. It's made by the same people that made Dusk, which is the one you you're referring to there. So it's it's kind of their uh, their thing. Yeah, very thief inspired. What if we come round this side? You know. Oh, what the. Can't see a thing. Can't see anything. Right. So, like I say, we're gonna wait just outside the elevator. As soon as that elevator comes, we're just we're just straight in it. You know, we're straight in it. Get the shotty out. <laughs> yes, man. Just part of the job, ma'am. Nicely timed. Turns up the gamma. Well, I thought it'd be nice to have this one slightly darker because, as I say, not being able to see is kind of like the point in this. So I thought, yeah, let's let's get real immersed with it, you know. Right, let's save and then we'll head through there. Sort of ever so slightly bioshocky, those uh, phonographs. The rat and the bird. Look at that, this is very thief, isn't it? I was saying when when I um when I was looking at screenshots yesterday on stream, I was saying this but this area looks like the training mission from Thief. Welcome. We did it. We did it. And I was, I was getting well hyped then. Look at that. That was, that was, that was the Gloomwood demo. That is one that, yeah, as soon as that's out in early access, that'll be on stream. So if you're excited for more, it, it'll it'll come when they've uh, when they've when they've done it when they've when they've done the old the old game arena, um, and when it when I was quitting out then you probably couldn't see because it was only little little, um, but it said abandon this wretched town and you could say yes, um, which I liked. But yeah, that was good, wasn't it? That was very good. I am uh, I am very excited to play that. Um, but for now. 
we will uh, we will be moving over to something uh, to something a little more familiar, and that is of course Thief Two. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, so we'll be playing the sequel to the fan mission that took us six hours yesterday. Um, yesterday we of course played Ominous Bequest, which was good, just really long. And we today we will be playing the Broken Triad, which is also apparently really long. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, let me just get this set up. Let me get this all set up. Let me get this set up real quick. There we go. Okay. The Broken Triad. Um, I'm quite excited for this one. I think it'll be good. Met Jabba. Where is Jabba? Oh, he's over there. It's been a, it's been quite some time since we've had a pet Jabba request. So it's just been, oh god, he looked a little bit he looks he looks a little bit worse for wear at the minute. He's still in his Christmas jumper. Can't let the the holiday season go. Oh. So, as you can see, ominous. Uh, Broken Triad is the sequel to Ominous Bequest. So I guess we want a quick a quick lore rundown, a recap of what happened. Battery check. I still need to get rid of that while I'm using these headphones. But a, a battery 80%. Um, last time around, we, uh, we broke into a big mansion. Um... We, we we were accidentally working for some sort of demon who then got us to bring him a book that turned him into like a monster man kind of thing. Then we destroyed the book, killing him and all his zombie friends. Um, so now I guess we're, we're doing something else, you know. We're just, we're just going to go do something else with our time. Optional. Optional. The security inspector is currently staying in the Bathing Burrick Inn. Locate and steal its report. It should provide you with valuable information about the Harrogate Museum's alarm systems. It's a museum heist. Good shit. Sheila Jennings, one of Harrogate's curators, has promised to get you a couple of keys to access the museum. Go visit her. Find your way into the museum and swap the sculpture, the sleeper, with your replica. Make sure to turn all the security measures around the sculpture back on once you've done the swap. This way, nobody will notice the difference for a while. After you've completed everything, go back to your apartment. Optional. Try to avoid triggering any of the museum's alarm systems. Jabber is a poly old fella. He's a good lad, though. Most important thing that happened was that we saw an arena full of burricks, yes. So we managed to get away without killing any because we apparently couldn't. Okay. I need to put the filter on. For this for this dark, dark game. There we go. Um I also need to increase the, the brightness on my own monitor. So that I too can see. Builder, give me eyes. Um, what have we got? So we've got 500 cash. We've got... One of those. No, they leave the rope arrow. That's not a lot of gear, is it? It's not a great deal of gear. Here we go. Right, there's our there's our, our replica. Um There's the horn that we stole last time around, of course. Where's my magic sword? I had a lovely magic sword last time around.
All the pages are empty. No, really. All of them. Um, I'll always love inverted mans. AI riding a burrick. What, really? As in, like, in a, um... In a fan mission. I'd like to see that. That's, that's cool. Oh! What was that? Oh. That was neat. Originally, I was planning to, um, some of you know, originally I was planning to stream some Christmas-themed fan missions. And I had a look, and they, um, an old fan mission. I'll have a look. Um, I had a look at some of the uh, Christmas fan missions, and they didn't look particularly great. Um, kind of novelty, which I guess you could expect. But this fan mission having snow in it, that'll do. That'll do, you know. The door is barred shut. Shit. Oh my goodness. Nothing here now. Oh, does anyone want to set up a bet, by the way? Um, if anyone is able to, I don't mind doing it if uh, everyone's like, on the mobiles or not, not able to. But we are now able to do a bet. Although, whether we'll actually finish this mission or not, thank you. Whether we're actually able to <clears throat> finish this mission is another question. Oh, shit. I was thinking missions where they're sort of this bright, it's always difficult to gauge how much a guard can actually see you. Get your, get your bets in, folks. Will there be an odd or even amount of knockouts? How much frobbing will happen? Too much or not enough? There can never be enough frobbing. Which is an entirely safer work act. Okay, we need a key. Or maybe not. Ah, uh, it's one of those marble floored bathrooms again. Listen, Mora. You need you need to stop you need you need to stop bringing the good word of frobbing down. Oh. She just give herself an electric shock. There was a, there was a zap. Yeah, maybe. It was a zap, and then she... And she just conked out. Ooh. Right, so there's actually no way to get into the uh, next door from in here by the looks of it. Shut the windows just because you don't want to catch cold. It's cold out tonight. Uh, 
Mr. Bolston, I tried to talk to you in person, but it wouldn't. But you wouldn't answer the door. With this letter, I'd like to make you once again aware of the disturbances your inventions are causing in the neighborhood. Since you decided to let your machines running day and night, without asking anybody for permission, I might add, the air in my house is charged with electricity. Lights go out on and off, all by themselves. Each time I try taking a bath, I receive periodical shocks, and worst of all, my hair defies gravity and any brushing attempts. Whatever you are doing up there, I ask that you shut down your machinery immediately. I've already been informed. I've already informed the city watch, and they promise me to look into it if you don't follow my request within the next twenty-four hours. Lisa Wigglesworth, sir, that's why she she got knocked out. Uh, I've bound lockpicks to B and N, um, which works works quite nicely. <gasps> it's the hooked pole. Oh, where are you? Might be able to rope arrow that. Appro yes, it is appropriate, actually, isn't it? Good point, good point. Look at that! One of them tiny little spiders. There's diploma up there. Personal notes. Tested Martin's suggested settings on prototype today. Efficiency of solar reception went slightly down, while lunar reception improved at astonishing rate. Keeping spectral receptor active also during nighttime seems reasonable. Going to recommend adjustments to Director Wilkerson. Must locate Martin and ask how he calculated these figures. He claimed to have come all the way from the city just to visit me. He even knew I had based the receptor on precursor technology. Evidently, my reputation precedes me. You smug bastard! Hmm. Yeah, I thought green handles pretty interesting, wasn't it? Do you reckon I can? I, I don't think I'd be able to reach a rope arrow on there. Oh, not a chance. Not a bloody chance. Hmm. F6 and F7 for lockpicks. See, I use those for um, hotkeys for my stream, so if I go F7... It goes to this, and then if I go F6, it goes back to this. Um, and I've sort of gotten too used to those to change them. I am wanting to get a, uh, a little numpad. And I'll bind a bunch of hotkeys on there, use it like a sort of cheap stream deck. But... Um, but until then. I also don't even know if that'll work using a numpad for hotkeys. Can you can you sort of use numpad keys as like macro keys? Does that work? I think it would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh bloody hell, there's guards everywhere. Um, of summer's macros, the plus and minus keys, right? Yeah, I'll give that a go then, because I, th I think that'll probably work. A casino that we can't get into. That's what Lemmy uses, right? So I've seen people before say that they use like foot pedals, which which is very like that sounds like the sort of thing you'd see ten thirty doing Freeze. in this weather. Very likely. Um, oh, is it what um, 1030 does? Roscoe uses foot pedals, right? It's probably a good idea, that. I move about too much, though. Like, right now I'm sat on one leg. Like, sort of half-crossed. Um, 
quite fidgety when I'm sitting. But yeah, it is probably better than uh, using your hands if you're like mid-game or something. Oh! I didn't even move! Oh, it's freezing down here! Oh, bloody hell! Upside down mushroom. I was looking at hand hoovers. Like, like handheld vacuum cleaners. I don't know why I decided to give that sort of translation as if people wouldn't know what I meant by hand hoover, but I was looking at hand hoovers on Amazon. And uh, one of them, someone was complaining that. <laughs> the the hoover in fact no I wasn't looking at hoovers I was looking at clothes steamers because I don't like ironing so I was looking at clothes steamers and um found I found one I was looking at the reviews and it was this person saying that because it didn't have a ventilation point I don't know like a ventilation hole um, that it would likely be a hotspot for fungicides. I thought, well, firstly, do you call them fungicides? I don't know. Um, and secondly, I, I love the idea that that person hadn't actually had that happen to them. But they were just outraged by the design of the steamer. And they, they'd, they'd done like a sort of analysis. And that's what they'd come to terms with. Manhole cover key. Fungicide is used to get rid of fungi. <laughs> but where do you get fungicide from? You have to grow it in steamers. It's where they're, uh, it's where they're cultivated. Maybe this person had lots of mushrooms growing in the home and they, they loved them. And they were like, well, shit, if I use this, I'll, I'll steam all the mushrooms off my off my blazer. And I can't have that. Never going into a sauna again. Does anyone use a clothes steamer? Cause like I say, I, I just I just can't be bothered with ironing, like getting the board out, doing all this and that. I feel like I wish I could iron as and when. I wish, you know, ironing didn't have to be. Cause like ironing takes so much effort. I'm not I'm not necessarily sure steaming takes any less effort, but ironing takes so much effort that if you're going to iron, you might as well iron out all your washing. And yeah, this is exciting conversation, by the way. This is this is interesting. Just in case you're wondering, you've you've sort of got to iron everything if you're going to iron. Otherwise, it just feels like waste of time getting everything ready for like one shirt. But like, if I'm going to be wearing a shirt to work or something, if it's like a if you know if we've got the upper brass in or something like that. I can't be asked to get the iron out just to iron my one shirt, you know? To wind up. I haven't ironed a seam clothes in years, just let them dry and fold them up. I mean, I don't iron anything other than shirts. And to be honest, I rarely do it anywhere. Because I'm really in sort of formal situations, to be honest. But I'd like to have the option. I'd like to have the option. I just can't be, you know, just self-employed so your work clothes are the comfiest trackies I can find. That's fair enough. And and while working from home, same. Um, but like I say, if I go into the office, I've got to, uh, I've got to show people up. I'm only kidding, but kind of, you know. 
Oh, there's the Burrick place, the Bathing Burrick Inn. What was our objective here? Um, oh, shit, who was it who was in the Bathing Burrick? Was it the Inspector's Report? What are you doing up there? You've had enough, mate. Lady Milton. Am I here to meet any of them? Who am I here to meet? Sheila? <laughs> Sheila's not here. We'll see. Press M. Uh, where's the, uh, where's the Burrican? Harrogate Museum. Security inspector resides here. Right, security inspector. Because he was on the he was on the 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 guest book. Um so we need the security inspector's report. I should have figured that out when I read Inspector Edmund Swan and Bodyguard. Bloody hell man, come on. Come on. Come on. You're working right now, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. Because I will be very soon. Not not as in very soon as in today, very soon as in Wednesday. And I'm not looking forward to it. And I'm hoping it's very quiet and I don't have to do well and I can just sit and watch Twitch and you know. I'm a professional streamer. Do you know what yesterday felt like work? <laughs> Something moved there. Right. Nothing, I guess. Oh well. Do you reckon we can do a speedy bonk? What's that? I there. Ah! Ah! No, no. Nothing there. Last night was very busy for me dealing with American customers over web channel. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that as well. I think it's going to be a flash bomb. I hear you there. Come on. Bit of a waste. Who's making those noises? <gasps> Better check my map. Better check my map. There we go. Look at that. We've got a full bloody, full bloody idea of what's going on there now. Pop you in there. Pop you there. Oh, that's neat. You are Lilima. I'm a professional steamer. I see. Yes, so the it was a callback to to a joke we were earlier in the stream. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are around at this point, but earlier in the stream, I was asking how many people iron or steam, um, because I don't like steaming, I don't like ironing, you know, just one shirt at a time. So a bit earlier we were, we were kind of having a joke, well not a joke, but we were kind of having a discussion relating to that. You climb up these. Some missions have drain pipes you can climb up. I remember it being a feature in uh, Endless Rain, and I didn't, I, di I didn't realise until I was watching a guide on how to reach a particular item, and then this lad just jumps, starts scrambling up, plumbing, you know, side of building because of the drain pipe. I've just realised we've left there. There was a bit where you could jump out onto. Ooh. Oh, there's a museum. Right, okay. Right. So, what are the buildings around the museum then? Hang on. Museums here, that's where we are. So, we've got City Watch Station there. Um, got Sheila's apartment there that we need to go to. Hop back through here. Uh... Is it this room? Yeah, this room had the window. 
What's going on here? I saw this then. That's the museum. I don't think I can actually get... Oh, wait, no, this is just one of the ways to get in there, I think. Ugh. Ugh. Who bloody cares? Got a guard there. Ugh. Bloody locked doors, man. Why is everyone pretending they've got something valuable to protect? Nice golden pot there. Eh? Golden cup. There you go. Do you remember that little hidden switch in glue mud? That was funny. I still don't know what, what, what the fish thing was, though. It, it was supposed to give us some fish. You've had so much to bloody drink, love. I can't go in there. What is going on? There's, like, nothing in here. Oh. Right. You will remain unbonked in that case. Is that it, though? Sounds very ungrateful, but let the door open. Think of the heating bill. Or excuse to pick a man's pocket once every year. I was invited to this apartment, by the way, and I'm having to pick my way in. Was that there? Oh, for fuck's sake, I was invited! Shut up. Maybe this isn't the right apartment, actually. No, Sheila's apartment. Oh, wait, no, I think I'm in this building. Maybe it's not. Maybe not. Lump oil, lamp oil flask. Receive new batch of healing potions from the city. Compiled and delivered leaf package for Mr. Martin. Have to look up the more exotic ingredients later on. Received antistatic hair lotion for Mrs. R Wigglesworth. Mrs. Wigglesworth and a poor static hair. Completed and delivered salve for Mr. Porter. His back is acting up again. Once again, I'm left asking, is that it? Just two coins and, a, and another door that is inaccessible. I'm not happy about these inaccessible doors, you know. Let it be known, that'll be reflected on the uh, the final rating. Hello? Oh, fuck. Exactly. Right, so this must be Sheila's apartment then. And she's got a big banner on the roof. Oh my god, what is your issue, mate? Off you go. Oh, that I'll be able to use my manhole key on that, won't I? Right, we'll, we'll hop down there in a second, because I want to go see Sheila first. Oh. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, jeez. Garrett. No, that sounds too condescending. Garrett. I know I promised to have the museum keys today, but most of them are simply out of my reach. At least I managed to nick the back door key. You only need to find a way into the cemetery and you'll be inside the museum. As for the remaining keys, I found another solution. It appears the Yarrick, that Yarrick, sorry, the locksmith responsible for most of the unpickable locks in Harrogate secretly keeps a skeleton key in his, in his shop. It'll allow you to open any of Yarrick's doors, easily recognisable by their green copper handles. Ah, the green handle. While studying some of the old city plans, I discovered that there are catacombs and forgotten tunnels under near Arkford streets, which connect many buildings. The tunnels were meant for soldiers to move unseen in case of invasions. But they oh dear. But they've never been used. To our luck, one of those tunnels connects a city watch station with Yarrick's shop. I found a gullible enough guard, Ned, who let me into the station unseen. I told him some wild story about treasures hidden underground and rivals who want to beat me to the punch by spying on me. If you'll give me another day, I'll go and get the skeleton key for you. So we need to go to um, Yarrick's, Yarrick's lock shop. Ned's crumpled letter. Dear Miss Jennings, I'll be in the watchtower tonight and keep an eye out on your... Oh, wait, no, it's... it's, it's we've got... We've got... Guys. Dear Miss Jennings, I'll be in the watchtower tonight and keep an eye on your museum officer's window. When you give me the signal, I'll unlock the back door and send the other watchman of me... Sh oh, uh, uh, what? Eh? Send the other watchman of me shift outside for a break so you can come in unseen. Most likely... It'll take me a while to get rid of them all, especially Yorick. Can be a stubborn oaf when he's at the equipment store. So please give me a moment or two. The entrance to the war tunnel is the last cell. Look for a small switch above eye level at the back of the stone arch next to the cell. P.S. I burned your note during my outside patrol like you told me to. So... Can you give me the signal? Hang on, I'll be in the watchtower tonight and keep it... See, I need to reread them after I've done a silly accent. Um, I'll be in the watchtower tonight and keep an eye on your museum officer's window. When you give me the signal, I'll unlock the back door, send the other watchman of, of, of me shift outside. Um. Entrance to the water tunnel is in the last cell. Look for a small switch above eye level at the back. I will try to remember that. Right, are you, is there anything around here? No. Sorry, Sheila. I'm sorry you got wrapped up in all this. Hopefully I can get to the bottom of it. Right, so, we've, we've stolen the security inspector's report. Is it Sheila and see if she has some keys for you? I've just done that! Why didn't it take the objective off? We have to interact with the body. Because I don't particularly want to. Oh no! Wait, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's no keys. Is there? Oh, I missed that. What on earth? Oh, there we go. Um, do we have to do anything? I mean, we we should probably go to uh, this locksmith's shop. If we can. Do we know where he is? Museum director. Is where we were going to give the signal from, wasn't it? 
Um, there's another sewer entrance there. Okay. Um, well, let's head up to the uh, to the museum director's house, maybe, and just see if we can, you know, give the signal. Whatever that means. looks like this house here is probably the one maybe about to be spotted why do all the doors fucking open outwards that's some loud flooring as our first outpost in this town, these premises will certainly be sufficient. It is no white cathedral, but there is enough space for a small seminary. The majority of Arkford citizens seem to be dissatisfied with the Hammerites, which can only be to our benefit. The sooner this town starts hearing from us, the better. Father Karras will be pleased. wonder if there's anything up there. Yes. No, yeah. Maybe up there. Is it? So is this the museum director's house? It doesn't look like it. Maybe it's one of these. How does one see the wind? <sighs> ah! There doesn't seem to be anything else around there anywhere. We're probably alright to head back this way. about are with them? Is this like the westernmost point? This looks like it's this. Which is apparently the muse museum's director's house. But like I said, there, was, there wasn't much going on in there. Maybe around the back. <gasps> oh. Oh no, here it is. This will be the one. Yeah, played Hitman. I've played it briefly. Um, played a little bit of Blood Money. And I think a little bit of one of the newer ones. But I've never really gotten into them. I think someone was asking the other day. I've never... Um, I'd quite like to play them more. But yeah, I just... I've never really sort of given them the time. And from what I have played, they've never really grabbed me. In fact, no, I played quite a lot of um, Absolution, which I think, you know, quite a few people tend to think is one of the worst ones, but I thought that was all right. Um, but it certainly didn't make me want to play the other ones, but from what I understand, it's quite it's quite a bit different. Um, 
Hmm. I can't believe they left the note in there about stealing the museum director's wife in the museum director's home. Lalama loves Hitman. Yes, understand. Absolution is meant to be really, really different. Um, I don't know why I've played more of that than any of the other ones, to be honest. Um, I think I've got a bunch of them, though, like the new ones. They're always free on stuff, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> I love that little pog seagull. Ah! I'm running out of like dark little corners to uh, to dump bodies in. I think I've probably knocked out nearly every guard in the uh, in the map at this point. To the point where this is probably a little bit unnecessary. Tom Hope, has your have you changed the colour of your name to like a very slightly lighter shade of yellow? If so, I like it. Oh, this is my house. Perhaps right. <laughs> very Tom Hope response. I think it was to upset Staggies. Well, it pleases me. So there's even more reason. To, uh, to be to be justified in your decision if you needed more reason at all at all I'm not sure I approve of you changing I think I shouted at you the other day about it didn't I <laughs> perhaps right um Let's uh, let's go in the sewers, shall we? Let's hop down that manhole. I want to I want to get in there. Although we need to get that key, don't we? That skeleton key. Or going through. I wonder if. Interesting. <laughs> Tom Hope. I don't think I did ever have a pink name. I was trying to think about it. Nope. Anybody home? They love using that voice line. Mr. Garrett, the hooded guy who had wanted a replica of that ugly sculpture came and picked it up today. It's not often that clients pay in advance. It's even rarer that they provide me with the raw material. Thanks to the detailed schematics Mr. Garrett has provided me with, I was able to create a fairly accurate reproduction. It was interesting working with the block he had given me, though I am still not sure what kind of stone it was. I asked Mr. Garrett today, but instead of giving me a straight answer, he just grinned and pointed upwards. Oh, is, uh... Nice. Good stuff. Let me, uh, let me get this clear. Let me just check I'm not... No. I don't seem to be. Don't seem to be. Um... Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes back shortly. Please. 
Oh no. Well, it looks like the bitrate is starting to recover just in time to see this poor decapitated man. Um, so sorry about that. The bitrate's not fully recovered, but it does seem to be a little bit better, maybe. Oh, there we go. It looks like it might be coming back now. If if your stream is still being, you know, bogus, please uh, please give it a quick refresh. Um, sorry for the trouble, folks. Sorry for trouble. Right, not much going on in here then. Anything up there, is there? I must have missed something in there, because I haven't really found anything. But maybe there's maybe there's nothing to be found. A bit pixelated, but not but for an anymore. It should it should go back to being. To its to its regularity shortly, hopefully. That is very loud. Right, let's head back to that manhole behind uh, behind Sheila's apartment. What's that? Keep getting distracted. Well. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Had a very similar situation like that when playing uh, one of the Dracula missions, I think Nosferatu. That was horrible. Right, into the sewers, like we said. Oh. So we're behind here now. Ooh. If you're in safety, this wood chipper requires the lid to be closed and locked down and locked before the start button becomes operational. Only drop unworked wood into the machine. Anything else will be rejected by the inside sensors. So you can't you can't go all far go on it. Same one up there. It sounded like there was someone clearing the yeah, there's someone up there. You can hear them clearing the throat. <laughs> oh <laughs> Poor lad. Very tragically conked on the head by the opening window. Give me a little jump, that. 
Can I fall in it? Maybe not. Do I have anything to put in here? I don't think so. Fake sculpture. No. Nada. Uh, some shipment details. Nothing really much going on in here. Okay. You gotta think there's something up on those on those beams, right? You're very disappointed if not. It looks like there's... Oh! Shit. It looks like there's literally nothing up there, though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this reminds me of what you said, uh... Oh, is that... What you were saying yesterday about flicking a switch and having no idea what it's actually done. That being said... That doesn't look like... <laughs> what? That doesn't look like something we're going to be able to make use of. Unfortunately. Oh. Right. Interesting. Hmm. Wonder if there is something I can work out there. I'm not sure. Oh! There's a rock. Ooh. I wonder if, um... I reckon we can use that in some way. Oh. Don't know if this would actually work. Or if this will actually work. I, I imagine it won't. It did work! This mission so far making me feel very clever with myself. Which is a nice change. So now we should be able to... Nice. So this is well done. I like this. Like that must be quite a... Uh, I don't know how complicated that is to do in terms of Thief modding, but that seems like a pretty complex sort of system.
Oh. Oh, this this looks very similar to the uh, the sort of crypt at the end of uh, at the end of the previous mission. Maybe we needed to use the forge at the blacksmith's place because that had a that had a thing where you could well no it wouldn't let me interact with it but it had a mold it had a mold for a hammer oh dear I like this so far, you know. I really do. <sighs> Hang on, that's a little basin drain or something. Oh, hang on, is this not a doorway? Oh shit. Check back over it, I didn't miss out. Nothing here, is there? Nothing I can use right now. Right, maybe we need to head back to the blacksmith then and and forge a hammer. In fact, did I pick up a hammer or anything? No. Hmm. Tiny hint. Yeah, go on then. Maybe it's the wood chipper. Maybe I've got to carve one with the wood chipper. <gasps> Go back. Back as in back to the city or to the fallen coffin, right? Oh, did it maybe oh should probably check the sides of it to see uh if there was like a gap in the wall to get through. Ah, completely missed that. How did I miss that? It's very obvious, really, isn't it? Dear me. What a silly sausage, thank you. Ah, right. Well, never mind. One less. Not the museum back door. Hmm. Guess we can't be coming here yet. Bit disappointing. I think going for maybe the museum back door for now, rather than 
I guess this may be getting ahead of ourselves a bit or something. Oh, wrong way. Oh shit. Oh, am I gonna have to... Am I gonna have to put the water back down? I can't put the water back down. The door's shut off, so I... I must be, I must be on the right track then, I must be able to progress. Unless there's like another exit. <laughs> Shall we not miss anything? I feel like this is significant, this brick that's fallen out, but it very well might not be. Might just be a nice little, you know, bit of attention to detail, that kind of thing. So we got this. We got this. Even. Check through my keys again. It's took you about 20 minutes on now. Oh! Well, lucky me. <laughs> Oh, wait. Well. convinced I had to find a hammer, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a confusing one. Nice. We're in. We're in the museum.
There must be instructions on this thing somewhere. Put the appropriate punch card into the slot to activate the maintenance unit. When the green bulb lights up, the maintenance unit can be launched by pressing the start button. Someone there. Well, that was a close call, wasn't it? Thank goodness for that light switch. Anything in here of interest? Deirdre, do you have any idea where the Hammerites have gone? I know White Cathedral is currently closed for renovations, but the entire place looks completely deserted. Director Wilkerson wants me to find a priest who can put Brother Reginald to rest. Also, have you noticed Sheila acting a bit weird lately? I first saw it simply stress-related, but by the way she looks around all the time and how she's startled by anybody entering her office get the feeling she's afraid of something. Maybe we should talk to her. So Sheila knew something was up. I wonder if the blacksmith did too. Was that the blacksmith? I can't remember what the blacksmith's place was called. That was one of them green handled locks. another one I never did find out where uh... Hello? fuck I was reading that I never did find out where the um... the locksmith was I said something about an audio lock Audio lock next to my office is a mechanism to open the door, not a musical instrument. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I prefer memorising a melody rather than a number combination, and that is why it was installed. Please refrain from any attempts at arranging compositions in front of my office. Once again come to my ears that several misguided individuals believe there is a hidden emerald room in this building. I'd like to make it clear once and for all that no such thing exists. We renovated the whole place, for heaven's sake, and if there was a room like this, we'd have found it years ago. Ooh. It's rather large. Oh, bloody hell. This is a partial transcription of a correspondence between two sailing merchants written about 60 years ago. Geoffrey, as promised, I shall recount the amazing discovery I made last September. Even though I can, I can describe the island and its inhabitants in great detail, I'm unable to tell you how we got there. All I know is that it happened a few days after we, we'd started our journey back from the west. The crew grew increasingly restless, and it wasn't before long that we discovered the white squid had gotten far off course. Needles no longer po pointed north, and even the stars' positions seemed to have changed. Although I tried telling them otherwise, the crewmen became convinced there was a curse on our freight. There was talk about throwing everything we had acquired. There's talk about throwing everything we'd acquired overboard, but before the situation could escalate, a cry from the crow's nest land was in sight. We round we rode to the shore, hoping to find some indication where in the Great Western Sea we were. With its steep cliffs and craggy mountains, the island was likely an eroded remnant of a long dead volcano. We left our boats. I can't stop you. Oh, I'm sorry. We left our boats at a picturesque beach, where a dirt track wound. Where a dirt track. I'm really, really feeling the uh, the impact of of those words that have different pronunciations right now. Where a dirt track wound its way through exotic vegetation, the path led us 
to a glade where we discovered structures that couldn't be mistaken for anything else than human made us. Imagine our amazement when we realised that this uncharted piece of land was inhabited by what, what appeared to, at fir- to be at first sight fucking hell, a primitive race of people. They walked around bare-chested wearing variously dyed loincloths and their skin was almost as dark as that of the men sail in the southern seas. Lucky for us, they were very welcoming and friendly. Although nobody of my crew could speak their language, the natives grasped fairly quickly that we were merchants from a faraway land. Alas, being no seafaring folk, they couldn't aid us in locating their island on any of our maps. However, they made us understand somebody else could be of help and motioned us to follow them into the city. What an astonishing sight that city was. We could hardly believe that these people had managed to build such impressive and richly decorated monuments out of stone. As we walked past those massive buildings, I noticed that some of the wall ornaments looked oddly familiar to me. But at that time, I dismissed the notion as a trick of the mind. I made drawing one of the particular structures. I made a drawing, sorry, of one particular structure we passed that looked like a holy icon or altar. I enclosed it within this letter. No, a facsimile of the mentioned drawing can be found at the end of the transcription. All the architectural marvels were forgotten when we got to see the sheer amount of riches just lying around. Even common drinking cups were made of gold, not few of them adorned with large gemstones. The last pages of this transcript are missing. We don't even have that page with the uh, with the with the drawing. I would like to see that. So some explorers have found some sort of <gasps> civilization. Right. Well, there's the musical thing. Jim Mori, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. Henry, once and for all, it does not matter if bro- Brother Reginald is harmless or not. How do you think Inspector Swan is going to react if he hears about a ghost waltzing through the museum at night? Instead of a recommendation, we'd get a closing order. I thought they'd taken care of Brother Reginald twenty years ago, but his recent reappearance proves otherwise. Now get me a Hammerite priest and tell him one of his dead brethren still thinks he has to keep watch over Lord Raglan's crypt in the cemetery. We've spent a long time and a lot of time and money to raise the security system into a class of its own. Need I remind you that without the burglar proof award, management won't be able to sell the Harrogate. Director Wilkinson. <laughs> Sheila, since you didn't show up for work today, I'm just leaving you this quick note. Because of last Friday's incident, remove the horn, as you suggested. It's now hanging above the sleeper where it can't be reached by any more jokesters who might be tempted to play it. They didn't get a single turn out of it anyway. That thing must be clogged with dust. Director Wilkerson bumped into me today when he stormed out of his office. He didn't bother apologising. Instead, he asked me in a perfectly serious tone what the name of his wife was, as if I was keeping track of his personal life. Before you know it, he'll ask us to remember his wife's birthday and the wedding day too. Oh, and did you know he wants to get rid of Brother Reginald? I'll see you when you come back, Deirdre. I used to know Deirdre and she talked like that. Empty. All right. It's one of them green door handles again. Not really... Oh, fucking shit. Not really approaching this museum at the minute with any kind of... Order. Very chaotic approach, so probably gonna suffer for that soon. Yeah, this is we were in here earlier, weren't we? Let's have a look around then. Maybe we should go back down to the uh, the first floor. Just you know, so we've got a sense of going uh, we'll work our way up from the bottom floor, you know. Rather than just running from room to room with no structure. It's back to the basement actually, isn't it? Did we check this stuff? Yeah, we came from in there. 
got a green handle, so we can't use it just yet. Need to find that skeleton key, don't we? Taff only. Oh, I get it, that somebody had scrubbed out the S. It says Taff only. What was that? Got that. Down you go. Down you go. That is that is some great Taffa content there. What have we got here? Arrogant Public Museum, right. So this is the entrance then, is it? Yeah, so right now we're like here. Cloakroom. Anything? I'd be wary of that security system, which I'm guessing if I try and nick anything, will just start going off. There you go. It's a Kramen. Kramen are dangerous beasts whose natural habitat and breeding grounds are damp underground caves. Their mighty shears can kill an adult human with a single blow. The Kramen's language mainly consists of clicking sounds uttered in rapid succession. Push the button for an acoustic example. Fish. Albino rat, the ugly version of a white mouse. Fuck off. Oh, yep. Yeah. The ape man and a spider. Ape man and giant spider. While the ape man has been renounced as a myth, the now extinct giant spider used to be a very real danger for animals and humans alike. Although reports of encounters keep appearing to this day, there's been no evidence of the continuing existence of these eight legged monstrosities. Oh, you can't even run through that, it's just just a wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. Can't even get. Oh, it's shut off again. So I'm guessing we've maybe got to fire something through it. But we need to we need to get the bloody key for those green door handles first. Dear me. I wonder what these are. These little bits underneath. If there's something that opens, like a little compartment maybe. Right. I'm. Yeah, that's the alarm. Okay. Ooh. Bones of Zog. So if I go and nick this uh, blessed hammer. <gasps> it's a hammer. Oh, that's cool painting that. Oh. This creator loves his funny looking switches, doesn't he? It is a hammer, but we needed a hammer earlier, didn't we, to put on that... To put on that thing.
Who's there then? You are. Ah. <laughs> oh, your fucking door! Thank God we can't use all those switches. I was fearing a highly complicated puzzle. I, w I thought the exact same thing. Got places to be. Bagger pipes. Played mainly in the northern regions of the barony, this instrument needs a lot of practice to not make it sound like a wheezing horse. The tacker, what tacker? This. Transient Audio Cascade Oscillator, TACR. Although its purpose is not for certain, this object is said to be an intricate musical instrument with extraordinary collector's value. Attacker. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I'd love it when they've got a sense of humour. So these are, these are some quite unique paintings. You usually, um, this is pretty good. You usually just get the same, uh, same paintings, don't you, from the base game every mission. Travio of Lee's violin. Why do I feel like that's from the main game? Or do I feel like I've seen that before? Travio Lee's violin. I feel like I recognise it from something. Is that that fellow from Morrowind? Battle at Widow's Tear. After successfully infiltrating the castle at Widow's Tear, Lord Varice put the uh, the leader of the resistance to the sword. Lord Varice's original uniform, part of the White Collection, and exhibited here with permission of Lord of Lady Melinda White. Very nice. This is really cool. There's all these, like, blue lights and whatnot. Is there a doorway through? Not there. It was like a staircase one there over here. No. I'm making things up. Yeah, I was saying the other day, like, I'm surprised museums aren't more of a... Don't make more appearances in fan missions. Oh, it's sort of like a Cthulhu thing, isn't it? And the creator died of shock after finishing it. Roddick's skull, the controversial philosopher Reynold Roddick, used this skull during a speech to support his point that death must be a pleasant experience, evidenced by the skull's grinning expression. The Horn of Quintus, once buried with Quintus. So this is actually from the game. How many times am I going to steal this thing? Very good. Oh, I didn't I didn't even see this last time. So the first bit of fucking loot that we've gotten so far. <laughs> we've got what? 275 loot so far. How much do we need? Oh, there isn't actually a loot girl on this. Which is uh, different. Especially considering the last mission, the, the prequel to this was, what, 5,000 loot? I think we left with about 6,000 odd. A good haul. Alright, not much on that floor. So I'll go back up then, shall I? 
I'll be honest, I probably won't finish this one today. This is probably when I'll play another sort of 20 minutes or so of it. Perhaps less. Um, just because I don't want to do a real long stream today. Um, but I will, I will continue it on the stream, I should say. sound. Reminds me of the Lost City sounds. Right. Um, I don't really know what to do without that green... that skeleton key. Oh, I don't think we've been any further up yet, have we? Yeah, yeah, of course we have. Right. It's the top floor. Hang on. How much have we explored this floor? Have I just been... I've just been... Oh, God, that's where the bloody door is. Come on, man. Come on. Do you, me? I just heard someone whistling. What guards have I not knocked out yet? You know, which guards are, have gone unbonked? Pretty sure I've knocked them all out. But maybe not. Tell you what, we'll go back down to, uh, to the basement where that hammer thing was. Stick the hammer in, see if it does out. Control room. Did we get anything for that control room? Any, uh... Any... It said you needed... Oh, we've got, we've got a flower card. I don't think that'll... That is the kind of card it's asking for, though. We've also got those rosaries, haven't we? Let's get the... Uh, where's that hammer gone? Forgive me for saying this, but it doesn't seem to have done anything. Wait, no, not that way. No. Hmm. Um... I think it's going to be a case of oh, finding what to... Uh... Oh, I'm just about to say something real stupid, so I'm going to say it anyway. I was about to say, I think it's just a case of finding out what we have to do next. Obviously, that's what it is. What else was it going to be? What does that even mean? You know when you're just about to say something really fucking stupid and you just sort of catch yourself? I mean, we can go back out into the city now, so we could go back to trying to find out where that fella is, where the, um... You know, the fella who makes the, the, the locks is. Could be out towards the cathedral, can I? What's that? Bloody loud is what it is. I 
I guess we can't get to the cathedral yet. And we've got nowhere on the map that says, you know, where a, where a locksmith lives. Crematorium. Anything else in this cemetery? I like the music. <laughs> Don't think we came through here at all. Let's have a look. Readable tells you about the green key, but not sure if I've got it on me. I'm guessing that's the white cathedral. So, because this is part one, I'm assuming the white cathedral is where you go in the second part. I mean, I've read all the... all the readables properly. This, this time around. Um, so there was this thing about getting into the uh, getting into the museum, but I don't think that's really useful anymore, is it? So it's it's this locksmith who's gone. So I think we need to kind of find out where the locksmith is. Maybe it's round here. That was where the museum director was. I believe. Back here. Well, we've got to assume that the, the, the locksmith doesn't live in the museum. So his key probably isn't there. Also, probably not around here. It would be good to. Hang on. I just go up there. Right, that that's the elevator shaft then. sound. I guess that is kind of the point. So we're at Mill Square now, we're here. In there earlier, aren't we? 
not sure if we came through this way. We haven't been here. That's cool. Cool little fountain, that. I'll have a look down there in a second. I'm, I'm in. Oh, it's a bloody green handle. Of course it is. Another one. Oh! Here it is. Nice. Just part of the job, ma'am. It's the way it is. Hello, Danger. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, it is. The it, it's got nice music. It's got a nice, uh, nice design, and the the door is locked by a green key. I reckon the key's got to be in there somewhere. Hello, Lord Cyrus. Welcome in. Surely it's up here, right? Surely. Sheila, last sentence of the second paragraph of Sheila's note. Uh, let me stay in the station unseen. Told him some wild story about treasures. Or the second paragraph. Uh, one of the tunnels, right? Right, see. City Watch Station. <gasps> yep. I see now. How was the demo you played earlier? I saw some shotgunning briefly. It was really good. Really, really good. I am uh, I'm very excited for it to uh to be an early access. But there doesn't seem to be any indication of when that's happening. So City Watch Station is, is just south of here, I guess? Are we, like, here right now? Yeah, I'm guessing this is Verice Plaza. Oh. What's this? Thank you, the tall. I've watched uh, some singles Inferno, and I would like to announce that it's a great show. Have you seen Singles Inferno? Great show. There you go. We do that every single time. How dare you? By the way. No, no, you seem to be. Uh, you, you do appear to be right. That tall. Some bellows. Don't get enough of those. What does that mean? Don't get enough bellows. Since when? Oh. Oh, this looks good to me. This looks like a good bit of... Have it all looked to me. But yeah, Gloomwood was really, really good. Very excited to stream the full version of that. I think it'll be a great time. So we kind of need to head, uh, we said south of here, didn't we? So kind of back the way we came. Maybe through there? Oh, there's the White Cathedral. Right, so it's a lot smaller than... Uh, Than, than the one that's in the distance. That's that's a much bigger looking cathedral. But that's fine, you know. Like I just, this this word doesn't actually appear to yeah. I don't know why I've come this way. I I was just sort of curious. Big statue. Very cool. This is a nice spot this.
Stern Avenue, yeah. This way. I've gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong bloody way, ain't I? Sometimes when I'm like... We haven't even gotten into the casino yet, have we? Sometimes when I'm going around corners, I like to lean as I go around them to sort of feel like I'm a race car. Or like a motorbike. Um... See watch station. I'm glad I'm not alone. Oh, so this is the City Watch station, this thing here. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Did that note say that... Where's the letter that someone wrote to Sheila? Ned's crumpled letter. Watch the tower tonight. Keep an eye out on the museum office window. You give me the signal, I'll unlock the back doors and the other watchmen... I should... Outside for a break. So you can come in unseen. Museum office's window. I guess one of these. <sighs> Feel as if that's wrong though. I guess it would make sense that you'd have to get into the museum first before you then gain access to uh, to the, the green key. Said back and forth, yeah, yeah, that's true. You did, you did mention that I'm going to take that as, I've got the right idea. I, I seem to know what, I, I seem to be doing the right thing. Based on you saying that. So, it's going to be one of the southern windows, I'm guessing. Don't you let me smug me. Probably south, southeast. That's not much of an office. This window? What is the signal? You know? Is that the signal? Well, I can't even get in there. Stop it, you two. Oh, this! Empty. <gasps> but I've got this, haven't I? There he is. He's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Think you're clever, do you? Think you're clever? Are you not? That's what I said to that. I am very seal of disapproval I right now. Devious. I don't feel devious. You're the devious one. Don't get it twisted. And fastest words around this way. Twenty-five years. That's a fairly young, um, fairly young museum, isn't it? What did you get for takeaway last night? We ended up getting from a new place, like a burger place, and I got a uh, tofu bacon cheeseburger. 
Um, so the bacon was made of tofu. Didn't really taste tofu, if I'm honest. Um, he's not let me fucking in yet, by the way. Um, and then, obviously, the burger and the cheese were just sort of your bog-standard vegan cheeseburgers. Um, ring. What did the note say? The note did say it'd take him a while. Admittedly. But I thought he would at least open it. Traffic light rating. No, it was good. It was good. It'd probably be an amber on the traffic light rating, to be honest. It was really expensive. Um, the burger on its own was £12.50. £12.50 for one burger. Chips were separate. So yeah, for that it's just an amber traffic light. Uh, most likely it'll take me a while to get rid of him, especially Yorick can be a stubborn enough when he's at the equipment store. Give me a moment or two. Twelve pounds. Chip separate, I agree this. Although, in a sense, it's also not controversial. I'll tell you for why. Because when we get from a place near us called Dirt Burger, I like that they do chips separate because uh, Nicole gets regular cheesy chips. I get sweet potato cheesy chips because um, I'm more of a sweet potato fry person. I'm more of a sweet potato fry and she's a regular fry. So I like in that situation... As long as it doesn't compromise the, the the price you're paying on the burger. So when we order from Dirt Burger, I think it's like £7.50-ish for the burger. And then it's like four quid for cheesy cheesy chips. Which again is still quite dear. But they are good. They are good. Like I, I know what I'm paying for there. I know I'm going to get something that's pretty, pretty tasty. And then ultimately you're paying what? £12.50 for... Um, for the burger burger and chips, that's pretty good. That's alright. For a takeaway burger, £12.50. Takeaway burger and cheesy sweet potato fries. That's pretty good. Um I think that's I think I think that's good value. They put edible gold on that burger. I wish. No, they put they put edible tofu. And and to be honest, it wasn't amazing. It was it was alright. It was perfectly fine. Bored, so this woman's getting bonked. Impervious to the bonk. Sick of hearing the snoring. Love a sweet potato, but I got off him very quickly. Love a week or two every few months where I fancy him. I kind of get that. They are a very particular flavour, aren't they? Um, for me, it's... If I go to a restaurant, sweet potato fries. However... It's not really a however. Kind of is a however. However, I love McDonald's chips. And, like, if it was the choice between some sweet potato fries from a restaurant or just some regular McDonald's fries, I would probably get just regular McDonald's fries because they're, they're above both regular fries and sweet potato fries for me. Tend to be greasy when I order them, perhaps I'm unlucky. No, I think they do tend to be a little bit greasier. I think... I don't know if you need to cook sweet potato a little bit longer but a lot of places they tend to um i think they tend to be a little bit chewier like they don't seem to deep fry them long enough you know so they end up kind of having that chippy taste where it's a bit stodgy um which ain't good how long is this gonna take by the way possible for sweet potato fries to be crispy yeah yeah well no Actually, I have had sweet potato fries. It's just very rare. It's real rare. But they they have been. Um, but they usually have to be cut really thin, which is the issue. It's not letting me in. It's not letting me in. 
We we had a deal, he and I. He's not letting me in. Whatever his name. Ned. 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 Sweet potatoes are more dense than regular potatoes. So yeah, they will need a bit more cooking then, surely. And it seems like a lot of places just don't. A lot of places seem to do them in the same time they'll do a regular fry, so they, are, they end up being, like I say, a bit stodgy. And also greasy and sort of sweaty because of that. But a perfectly cooked sweet potato fry is superior, barring McDonald's chips, is superior to a perfectly cooked regular fry. Turn the light off in the room with the lantern to ensure he could see it. Can give that a go, I suppose. Cut them. Can be hard to cut with a crappy knife. What sweet potatoes? They're a bit funny. I don't like chopping potatoes at all. Don't like dealing with potatoes in general. In fact, I prefer not to deal with them at all if possible. Made sweet potato mash the other day. Yeah, sweet potato mash is pretty good. I'm not the biggest mash fan, to be honest, though. Um, Nicole likes a mash. But but not not the biggest fan, me. Normally put them in the air fryer and bake them. Right, okay. See, I think I think when we get a house, we'll probably get an air fryer. Not because, like, you need a house to have an air fryer, just because we don't really have any space at the minute. I want to get one of them... Um, keep seeing, like... Nicole was showing me on, on TikTok these dishwashers that you can like sit on top of your counter. Which is which is mint. It's like it's like uh, well it's sort of like that big. Uh, about the size of a little bit bigger than a microwave. It's like a full dishwasher. You just Oh I think that might have got his attack. Yeah yeah, that got his attack. Good shout all. Um, looked into them, they all seem too small for dinner plates. Yeah, that's something that, yeah, I guess, I guess I'd have to uh, do some proper research. But I, I do really want one, because, yeah, I, I too hate doing dishes. It proper, like, dries my skin out as well. I mean, like, it was worse when I used to work in hospitality. Um, and when I worked as a barista... As a barrister, as a barista, and uh, I was constantly doing dishes and constantly. Um, we used to use this um, used to use this stuff called tannin remover to clean the to clean the equipment, and um, that stuff was very. I don't know if caustic's the right word, but it was it was very harsh on your skin. Um, and my skin would just be so dry all the time. And even when I'm doing pots now. Great for teapot stains. Yeah, 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 really good for them. Um, but you're not really supposed to use it, I don't think, because it's quite toxic. Or something like that. Maybe not toxic, but it's just... Hey, Jorah, why don't you go outside? Um, just had one ten minutes ago. Whoa. Take another break. I don't want to lose my job. Lose my fucking job. Sergeant got you sleeping on the floor. Shimus, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. How's it going? Hello, folks. Welcome in. We are, we are, we are thieving. We are playing a game called Thief. And we're currently, we're currently stealing from a, a, a museum. Oh, we're trying to. We've just left the museum, but we're gonna we're gonna go back in. We're gonna steal. But Shimus, thank you very much for the red. How was your stream? 
What were we up to? What was what was going down? I can't leave the equipment unguarded. You know the rules. I can stand in for you. Huh. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose his job. Um I think I was saying something about tannin remover. But yeah, if I if I do the dishes, it, it dries out my hands. So I want a I want a dishwasher I can sit on the counter. That was that was what I was getting at. Played a Wallace and Gromit game that went on much longer than expected. Hello. Oh dear. There. Well, there is nothing worse than a game that goes on longer than necessary. I mean, there, there probably is worse things. But yesterday we uh. We played one of these fan-made missions, and it ended up taking us six hours. Roughly. Probably a bit less, probably like five and a half. And that was a bit of a shocker. I keep going on about it, though. I feel like, I feel like the, the novelty is one thing of saying, Wow, this mission lasted six hours. But it was a while. It was a while. Lots of fun, but my head's a bit bad now. Gonna look for a bit and try and think about... Where I've gone wrong in my life. I understand. I understand. Thank you for the lurk and thank you again for the raid. For those who have never seen Thief before, coming in from the raid, Thief is a uh, an old stealth em up. That's what I'm going to call it. And uh, and this is a fan made mission for Thief. I play a lot of those on here. And it's good. It's a good time. Silent Hill lasted 11 hours. Yeah. But that, that, I mean, that game didn't last longer than needed. Like, did it? It was, it was a full game. It was a full game. It was the last cell that they mentioned going in. Don't look like there's anything in any of those. It said at eye level, there would be a switch. At eye level, there's a switch, it said. They definitely say it was in the cell. Um, the entrance to the war tunnel is in the last cell. Look for a small switch above eye level at the back of the stone arch next to the cell. Right. Ah, the granddaddy of stealth, exactly. This is a prequel to the critically acclaimed Thief 2000. Danger, that, that's a ban. I'm sorry, you've finally done it. You've finally done it. It's a spider. What's happened? What did what did that What even happened? Get away from me. Oh. No. 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 The way they sort of just tap dance towards you. Ah, what the fuck? Right, I don't want to. I don't want to have to kill the spiders. Don't make me kill the spiders. You ready? Here we go. Nope, not there. Shit. Oh my god, will you get off me? Yeah. 
We're good. We're good. Nice microscope. Nice chisel. What is all this? This is not good to me. There it is. We've got the skeleton key. Oh, oh yes. We are we are officially suited and booted. We're ready to, to break into just like every single room ever. I feel quite hungry. I do feel a little bit hungry, you know. Open skeletons, well. In business. I'm in the business of opening skeletons. Hey now. First point of call. Shall we get ourselves some jewels? Yes, please, I reckon. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Way. Way. Yes. Yes. What's this? Dear sister. Oh, it's, it's from Ben. Dear sister. To date, I had no luck finding any trace of the blood tear ruby. It must have been in Hilarius' possession at one time, but he probably sold it before his sudden disappearance. Alas, his journal doesn't mention anything about a potential buyer. However, there is an interesting passage about Hilarius trying to track down a gemstone called Solar Core. According to him, the stone used to be in possession of the late Lord Valerius, whose granddaughter runs an opera house in C. When the man died, he left behind a large collection of musical instruments, but there was no trace of the solar core. Hilarius planned to visit Lady Valerius to gather information on the possible whereabouts of the stone, but he vanished before he could do so. Maybe we should contact her sometimes. I agree. Ooh! I guess that was probably to open the cabinets, maybe? Maybe I didn't need to violently smash it in. Maybe. Um, so this goes north. Do I go this way and left? Which I haven't done. Not this way. There's so many doorways we can use now, you know. There's so much to see, so much to do. I have so much power now. Power over the elements. The elements being doors with green handles. Alamo, I don't know what that means. Can I go in here? They don't have green handles, so no. It's the one bloody thing in the... Uh, in the whole city that doesn't have green handles. You're doing uh, the lyrics to All Star. Right, I see. Oh, I see. So what's wrong with taking the back I get it, I get it. Uh, this is just a lock that I, I hadn't apparently bothered with. So in we go. Ooh. Appears to be some sort of cave. Oh! Will. I readjusted the valve so that one full turn of the handle should be enough to make all your guests break into a sweat. Feel free to use it if you need to get to, down to the bar for a drink or two, or if you need them to. As for those roots breaking through the basement ceiling, you probably won't get permission to cut down the tree. Dark woods are quite rare, and you don't want to have another argument with the crack-brained conser con cons conservationist legislator Barker. Having to change the inn's name from Boiling Burrock to the Bathing Burrock because of this concern about those fine animals was bad enough. Just bloody... Bloody Burrock correctness gone mad. 
I resent myself for even making the joke. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh well. So there's a bunch of doors I can't unlock down there. We're trying to find doors we can unlock at the minute, not not ones we can't. Um, were there many doors out and about that had the green handles? You know, I can't I can't remember which ones even had them. Like outside of the museum itself. I think it was mainly just uh, just the museum. He'll pop out for a bit. Thank you for the good vibes this afternoon. No worries, Josh. Thanks for uh, thanks for being in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let's uh, right. Let's let's open all the doors in the uh, in the museum. Well, all the doors that we can. Oh, there's one there. Right, okay, this one, the entrances. Okay. Well, so far, none of these green doors are particularly useful to open. <laughs> A nice balcony, I suppose. That's 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 pretty good. It's not useful, but it's 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 pretty all right. It's pretty all right. Right, here we go. This looks this looks in some way significant. Hmm. Right, so that's security system down. Just in case anyone was wondering. I'd let you know. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? No, I haven't. Did I not? Did I not do it in? Did I not do it fast enough? No. I guess maybe there's more things you have to switch off. Oops. Oh. A little bit disappointing. Once again, nothing up there. Hmm. There's nothing else. I like this music as well. This this whole mission's had some really nice background music.
But there must be some other security system in place that's, you know, giving us trouble. Maybe it's in the main office? That you need the uh, the sound combo for. Um, back, go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Remember where the giant spider was? There was a green door in there. Uh, I cannot remember where it was. Yeah, it was under. Oh, it was in the the tunnel. Wasn't it? it was in the the soldier tunnel. That an important green door, was it? Uh, the giant's back. That was giant's back, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean now, then. Yeah, but yeah, of course. Aha! And then that shuts again. What if I press this, then shut this off? Transformer. Basement Anthropology. Doesn't seem to be any other way down to it. I'm wondering if it has something to do with that little spider running about. If I have to maybe sort of Guide it through a tunnel or something. Do you have a security book readable? Um, I think I do, yeah. Yeah, museum security report. Um... Harrogate is equipped with an impressive amount of security measures. Energy field in the Great Hall. Its energy source, a collector on the roof of the museum, is completely independent of Arkford's power supply. Draws energy from the sun and moonlight. Even if an intruder managed to manually shut down the spectral receptor, it requires deactivating both the machinery on the roof and in the basement, an additional security measure would sound the alarm immediately. Four blue rays are ortho orthogonally attached around the energy field. Cannot pe penetrate it as long as it's operational. If that disappears with the blue rays still active, the alarm is triggered. And the museum director is the one person who is authorised to, to deactivate these. Right. Hello, Sarabi. Welcome in. We are not lost. We are not lost. So... There's some sort of energy thing on the roof, but it sounds, by the sounds of it, we need to get into his office, don't we? Need to get into the museum director's office. And I still don't know the, the little tune that needs to be played.
Nothing. <gasps> I'm not sure how where I'd find it. The the sort of combination you need for that. Let's try that again. Um, remove the horn as you suggested it's now hanging above the sleeper where it can't be reached by any of the jokesters who attempted to play it um, his wife's birthday and their wedding day too he wanted to know what day it was did it say what the name of his wife was. Ugh. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to draw out one of these. A combination. But like these aren't even numbered, are they? Um, maybe getting on the roof is, is the next step. Oh, you've still not solved that yet. Uh, this is the power source on the roof. This is it, so we've already deactivated that. So we need to get into the office then, don't we? That's... That is our final point of call. Port of call. Got any notes? Merchant correspondence. Last page of the security report. Because of the very advanced technology present, its inventor, George Bolston, came up with a unique way to maintain his installations without the need of specially trained staff, uh, the insect machines. Such a machine receives instructions through a card that has holes punched in it, and it is able to find its destination automatically, as long as its path is unobstructed. So I was right, it, you do have to guide it across. System also minimizes the time security components are deactivated. I was kind of there then. I was kind of there. I don't think I've got a. Like I said, the only card I've got is this flower card. I wonder if that'll work. Wait, hang on. Maybe the museum director's house would have a clue as to what the sound would be. Surely it would be there. Either way, let's let's try and use the flower card. No. It does not fit, sadly.
Nah. Okay. I think the uh, I think the museum director's house. I think that's where we've got to go. I think that's where the answer lies. Bloody hell. Probably for the best that we came out this way. So we'll head over to the museum director's house. Check again. See if we can find any clues towards a card for the machine or a sound to play. Here's his house. He had a bottle of wine in there, didn't he? He's got these flowers from his wife's lover or admirer. Well, that's it. Right, in that case, I think we'll save it for next time, as uh, I feel quite hungry. Um, but that's alright, that's good, that's good, I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to continue to enjoy that one. Um, it's a nice little mission. I do, I do. I'm not ashamed to say it, you know. I'm not ashamed to say it. Thank you everyone for uh, for being here today. Um, particularly thank you Mattress for Gravy and Shimmers for those raids. Very kind of you. Um, thank you for everyone coming in and, and just chatting, hanging out. It was uh, it was a nice little nice little time. Um, let's uh, let's let's chuck you all over to someone. Do a little raid if uh, if you fancy. Um, Just having a quick look at who is online. Um, but once again, thank you very much. I'll probably, I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably, um, probably Wednesday, in fact. Maybe Wednesday, maybe Wednesday. I'm not quite sure just yet. Not quite sure on that one. Um, Uh, sorry about this. I'm taking ages. Um, tell you what, let's. Uh, I know we only uh, we only raided him not long ago. Um, let's uh, let's go Redstein, um, who was actually in in chat earlier. Um, send you all over there if you if if you don't mind. Thank you again um, for being here, and uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely time. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.